County leaders are trying to make people less fearful while still allowing for roadside charity. A new ordinance intends to put a stop to aggressive behavior from people panhandling in Seminole County jurisdiction. Watch Tuesday's Dave McDaniel is live at one intersection that has generated a large number of complaints. Dave? Well, that's right, Jim. County officials say that last year they had roughly 2,400 complaints about aggressive panhandling, and a good number of those complaints did come from this intersection of State Road 434 and Wakiver Springs Road. This new county ordinance will give a way for law enforcement to intervene. When we first got here, there was a sign lying on the ground asking for help, but nobody holding it. When we returned a few minutes later, Jason was holding a sign saying he needed help until he got his first check from a new job. If someone wants to stop and give me money or food, God bless them. His actions are in line with the brand new ordinance to combat aggressive panhandling in Seminole County. Give the sense of, of safety and comfort to the citizens. The ordinance still allows people to passively make the point they need help. So-called panhandlers cross the legal line if they're not taking no for an answer or knocking on a car window, following someone while walking, or touching someone in any way. The county attorney says it's to reduce anxiety and fear. All things Jason agrees with. I don't agree with walking up to people, no, because I shouldn't be able to bother people and come up to you and ask you for money. You know, I don't know you, you don't know me. One thing is, is to roll down your window and tell somebody, hey man, I hope he gets better, here's a buck. It's a different thing when somebody's knocking on your door and saying, hey, will you give me some money? Sanford passed a similar ordinance last September, and while no one has been arrested on that ordinance, complaints have decreased. Longwood has made arrests for people standing on medians, creating traffic issues. We've seen uh, a great decline in solicitors in the city of Longwood. And a couple of the things included in this ordinance, you cannot panhandle within 25 feet of an ATM, and also panhandlers can't locate themselves within 1,000 feet of a school bus stop if children are present. Now, anybody who found in violation of this new ordinance faces up to the possibility of 60 days in jail and a $500 fine. Reporting live in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.